Hello, uh, this is the valve I made. It's just the ordinary lever valve. I drilled a hole in it. I welded a, a bolt onto this kind of long nut. And back here then, I got some treaded bar and I put it down to this piece of wood here, countersunk it, and it's bolted on. The nuts here, are, the two of them are locked together so they hold. So I can adjust by turning this, this is only a piece off a bicycle, by turning turning this I can adjust my lever valve to exactly where I want it. Treads are a bit fine and it takes a bit of time to get it adjusted but it's working. Down here on the generator we've taken off the exhaust and we've used the old mounting of the exhaust, cut off the exhaust here we put, we've put on a bar and the smoke is going to come through the bar to the end here and I'm going to put a cover over this and the smoke is going to come back and sorry the smoke is going to come back and out here warming this heat exchanger as it goes and hopefully heating water um, I, got, I, got, I was shown how to make this heat exchanger from engineer I think he's 775 on YouTube. You freeze water inside of the coil and I clamped this down here and wound it around it the first time. Then when that's it, that's um that's 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 eight inch pipe I think and then I went down to four inch and then I came down to this timber uh, principle. And sorry, before I went to the timber fence ball, I put water into it again and refroze it because the water was melting and took it down to that size and now it's there and that. So I must make a cover for it so to keep the heat in and I'll show you that after I'm finished. Why not? I've taken my fence ball and I'm bending my steel around it to, put, to make the, the exhaust. I have a bit of angle iron at the back. So I started off a nice little curve. Right, here's the heat exchanger. At the next stage, I have a copper and you can see the exhaust inside. And I just have to figure out how to get the uh, copper out now in such a way that it's kind of tidy. I should have run this pipe back here along the top so that it would be picking up the last of the exhaust on the way out. I'm going to put the exhaust coming out here so that the hot goes, so that the exhaust comes out, hot air rises and it comes up along the top and then out. We'll see how that goes. This is the first test of the heat exchanger. It's just about warm. Like a fire racer car. I'm going to wrap some more copper around the outside to give it more surface area. Oh no, this is just about working. It's not really great. We'll have to do some more modifications. But thanks very much. Well. That's just lukewarm.